Hi, good morning guys. Uh, we are back with our usual um, product live showcases. Today it's what day is it today? Today it's Tuesday, so we are left with today's showcase, uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So we have a uh, quite a huge lineup still. Um, if you're interested in knowing what other uh, live uh, product live showcases we have, go to our website www. Uh, no, no, no www. babyslingsandcarriers.com and then just click in, a, in our uh, gratitude banner and then below we have a list of what we will uh, show in our product live showcases like the list of items so that you know what is lined up next i think my camera is a little bit high today let me adjust it a little bit okay so today uh, our team will be going through a few very interesting items so for those of you, before I release the list of items, please help us like and share so that other parents can enjoy our product live showcase as well and learn more about products. So just to highlight to you guys once once again and many times we have highlighted that this is our annual sale or annual gratitude sale. So the sale will be on until this Sunday, midnight, 1st of November. And most of the items go for the minimum of at least 10% off and there are other items that go for up to 70% off. So if you want to get your baby items today, uh, get it today uh, by this week. If not, after that, the promotions will not come back probably uh, until uh, next year, our annual sale. Or you might not even have an annual sale. We're not too sure, actually. Okay, so for today, we have a couple of interesting items um, lined up. First, we'll again go back to Baby Stings and Carries where we will be explaining one of our uh, favorite carries, which is the Boba X. Uh, Boba X, and after that, we'll talk a bit about cloth diapering, which our colleague Pauline will talk about. And we'll talk about projector lights. What are projector lights later? Our cutest little, littlest teammate will explain. And we also cover night lights, uh, night safety, uh, basically for at home and in a room when your kid is sleeping. And uh, last but not least, we will also have sleep safety, which we will talk about uh, when you put the kids to bed and, and stuff like that. But we will go more into details later on into the show. So we will have, shall we have? Yeah. yeah. So our colleague will come soon to introduce the Boba X to you in a moment. If you have not read up about the Boba X, you can go to our YouTube channel or again, our website, Baby Slings and Carriers, and find out more about the Boba X. But in the meantime, our beloved colleague, Donnie, will be showcasing the Boba X to us today. Hello, good morning, everyone. So today we're gonna to showcase, I'm gonna to showcase to you the Boba X. Uh, it's also the same one that you see over here, we can see behind the mannequin, the very nice one with the parrot and all. Um, so the Boba X actually has excellent designs as well, uh, prints and all, full prints. And not just prints, I mean, uh, there are a lot of carriers with prints these days, but there are not a lot of carriers that actually can support effectively from newborn all the way up easily three, four years old. I mean, this is a carrier that is, well, you can see like a transformer of carriers. Um, I would call it one of the most advanced design in the market today. Uh, why? Because most carriers, if you can support newborn, you will find that they tend to get too small for a child when they reach about two years, three years, um, the legs get too long and all. And if you try to support a kid that is too big, uh, that's very big, you realize that the carrier is very difficult to string to the size of a newborn. It makes it too bulky for the newborn. But for the Boba X, it is one of those carriers that has an excellent structure to actually effectively string to a newborn size, yet expand effectively to support a, a preschooler. So let me just show you what makes it so interesting about this carrier. One of the most advanced newborn system here, you can see the belt itself, you can adjust the seat size. Simply just take and slide. Take and slide, and you have a very, very small seat that can fit a baby starting from 3.2 kilo. You can see, very, very small, okay? And the panel height can be adjusted to fit the newborn. Just tighten here. Hasn't been tightened for a while. 
So as you can see, if I tighten everything, the carrier becomes pretty cute and small. Very small, very easy to fit for a newborn. So if you are going to uh, use it with a newborn, what you do is that you just put on the belt. Remember to put the belt a little bit higher if you're dealing with a newborn, especially on a man, because we still want the baby's head to be at a kissing height. So usually I put it on my tummy. You know, it should cover pretty much your belly button. I think that would be a more accurate space. It has straps that you can adjust easily. You can see, if you look at this catch, I really like this catch. You can see, you just lift, release. A lot of people do not know that catch like this is designed for this, okay? Lift, release. Okay, this is a pretty small baby, you can see. So what you do, hug the baby close to you. It's a hugging posture. Gently open the legs. Be sure if there is a newborn, do not open the legs if they're not ready, okay? Just squeeze the fabric in between the legs. Come up, as you can see, it goes just nice at this height. Hold the baby, slowly put on your straps. Once ready, reach out back for the strap. You can tighten some more. It's getting a little bit old to reach the straps, but well, it's okay. Okay, you can see the strap itself is designed to go around the shoulder nicely. Very, very comfortable, very, very soft. And you can see the baby very comfortable against you. So particularly for newborn, you want the baby snug against your body. Why? Because you want your body to actually help hold the baby. A lot of people have a misconception that baby is actually held here. No, no. Newborn baby should not be helped here. Why? Because their spine is not ready to support. You want the baby to be able to hug you. So your carrier is hugging the baby, not allowing the baby to sit yet because babies are not ready. Okay? So something like this for newborn. And what if you want to use it with an older baby? Imagine your baby suddenly grow. Legs get longer. So what are you going to do? So basically what you need to do, very easy, just like open. You can roughly measure, you can put the baby sleeping on the carrier to see whether you know this one covers as much. We want it up to below the, the knee, so cover as much of the thigh as possible. So this will make it very comfortable. So it will grow exactly to the size of the baby. So you don't have to decide like, you know, button one or button two or button three. This one is slight according to baby, designed according to your baby size, okay? So once you adjusted that, same thing, put it on. Bring in your enlarged baby. You can see now the baby's legs are much longer. So now you lift it up. Usually the panel height, you can adjust as baby grows, but as baby grows to say five, six months, they may not like to be covered too much. So you may not need to extend the height yet until you feel like you need to, okay? So that is your choice. Otherwise, usage is the same. Ta-da! And I don't know whether you can see, but I'll try to tiptoe, you can see a little bit. It covers more now because why I've extended the seat. So similarly, it hugged the baby very nicely. This carrier, once baby hits about five months, you can easily use it on the front, on the back as well. I don't know whether you can see the picture right there. There's one baby on the back, but you just, just imagine that this one goes behind, okay? So that will make it very easy for a back carry. You can also do a cross strap behind your back as well as a side carry. Later, maybe I have a chance I'll show you. So for a back carry, usually if say the baby is not ready, we will just shift them behind. Okay, don't try this at home unless you practice. Huh? Don't anyhow do. Huh? Uh, 
okay, to do more yoga. So this is back carry. You can see, it told a little bit, you can see my, my belt. <laughs> uh, now I can see the baby. So this uh, carrier is good for a low back carry, we call, because low back carry, as baby is younger, you might find that they may not be able to see a lot. So as they get a bit older, maybe one year plus, it will usually be easier for them to go behind because they can see over your shoulder. Okay, some people can put the belt a little bit higher, but there's a limit, okay? So, taking out. Okay, now we are back to the front. If you want to do a cross strap, you can do that too. Take out the buckle from the side. Toe one side over, reach backwards. So you have a cross behind your back, can see? Now, if I were to do the other side, where you place your hands are important because if you place your hands at the wrong place, it's difficult for you to pull the right straps. So a little bit of practice, but we do have video instructions online. So for people with a boba X and you want to learn how to do this, don't forget to go to our website look for the video instructions, how to do the cross strap, how to do a side carry, how to do a back carry. Okay, so same thing, the cross strap, distributes pressure more evenly on your back. Why? Because it, it doesn't have the lateral pull. It basically balances out the left and right and pulls the weight down to the shoulder in the center. So it will distribute much better in terms of weight. So if you have a big baby, you carry the baby for a very long time, it would be good to consider practicing and learning how to do the cross. And the bonus of learning how to do the cross is that you get one more position. Okay, imagine I take out one, one, two, three, jump. Baby goes to my side. I actually have a side carry option. Can see? So now baby goes to my side. It's actually a alternative forward face position. So it's very easy for you to actually uh, feed baby. In fact, I like this position because I usually go coffee and then you have the maybe a six, seven months baby, it would actually be very good to put them to the side because their heads are always everywhere. You know, you drink coffee, the heads will come. You eat something, the hands will come. So you put them to the side, you can actually eat them with one hand. Okay? So if in case the baby starts, you're done with it, baby needs to come back to the center, just hope, and you change back to a cross strap. So basically the cross and the side is actually interchangeable for this carrier. This technique doesn't work for all carriers, okay? So it has to have certain properties. So it will work for the Boba X very, very well. So that pretty much covers most of the position you can use with this. And just one more thing. As the baby continues to grow, you would have maximized this. They actually come with extra seat size. Where's the, can you pass me the? Okay, let me show you that, huh? It comes with something like this. So after I have finished extending the carrier, I can actually add this some more. It works a little bit like a traditional, you know, raincoat type. You just hook it in, zip up, Something like this. You can see.
So you can actually have the extended carrier, so you can actually extend it by this much more on both sides. And of course, you can still extend the carrier by having the panel extended. So you can imagine a carrier of this size. You can see it covers my whole body easily. This is a genuine newborn baby toddler preschooler carrier. Okay, very, very unique in the market. Very few carriers can actually claim to do the same. And uh, what makes it very interesting is that the strap itself actually allows it to be controlled for to custom fit smaller size as well as bigger size people. Why? Because a lot of times if a carrier is designed for to fit a big size person, the small size person will find that, you know, you tighten everything, it's baby, the carrier is still too big, too, too loose. So this carrier allows the strap itself to be adjusted. Like this is the shoulder strap. I can actually shorten the strap by tightening this. So it has a tightening mechanism to allow you to shorten the, the shoulder straps, which is quite unique to this carrier. And in case, say, you have a big person, what you do is that you will release this to ensure that you have the longest shoulder strap possible. So for somebody like me, in fact, my size, I'm not exactly short, I'm a 1.8, so I actually won't be using full, fully this. I usually just cinch a little bit for me. So I use about half. So for people bigger than me, they would have to release more. So that is fine. Huh? And other things that it comes with that I like, it comes with the usual sleeping hood. It can be detached. Comes with a little pocket nicely for you to keep your sleeping hood, or you can just keep it aside if you don't need it and you find that it's too, it can reduce some bulk. It comes with other pockets as well on the belt. A nice zipper pocket at the side here allows you to keep maybe your EasyLink card, credit card, go bars or whatever. Huh? One pocket here, convenient ones, maybe for tissue paper and stuff, okay? And on top of it, for the ladies who like to shop, it comes with a back strap on both shoulder straps, meaning that you clip your handbag on your strap so it doesn't keep falling off because when you're car carrying a baby or a baby carrier, the last thing you want is struggling with your handbag that keeps slipping off your shoulder, right? So you can just clip it here, keep it on. If you are right-hander or left-hander, it doesn't matter because it comes on both sides. So you have that, okay? So apart from that, that pretty much covers most of the accessories and almost all the features of this carrier, a very, very good newborn, starting from 3.2 kilos all the way up to uh, easily a three, four years old child, okay? Weight limit is 20 kilos, but I must remind you, 20 kilos is only a lab tested limit. So do not take a carrier and say that, oh, weight limit 20 means I can carry under 20 kilos. Be aware that this is a safety limit and not all carriers will reach 20 kilos but I can safely say this carrier is very likely for you to reach 20 kilos because of the size of the carrier, okay? Okay, let me see. What else do I have to cover? Uh, pretty much it. So if you're interested in this carrier, at the moment we do have a, what's the it has a 10% on, on our website and you can take a look at the design. We have very, very interesting design. So for people who like full prints and all, you know, we have we even have like you know the jungle theme with the hair and flower and stuff. So uh, take a look at them. Uh, go to our website, look at the instructions as well. And this is uh, Boba X, okay, from the US. Boba X. Okay, any questions? No. Nope? nope. Then I'll hand over to uh, my colleague Pauline that will cover uh, the Grovia Chrome fabric. Thank you, Donny. And hello again. Welcome to the show, our uh, final week of product showcase. And I'm very glad uh, again to be here with you to share a little bit more about the products that we have in the showroom uh, to, to you so that you don't have to actually come to the showroom to actually find out because a lot of people these days want to shop online, right? I don't know about you, but these days I'm a little bit lazy. So sometimes I only go to the stores to find out a little bit more about uh, the products. But uh, if 
I could read up more online or find out more having a live show or presentation, uh, it makes it easier for me to make a decision as well. So we hope that this series of product showcase during our Gladitude sale, because this year is special, we have it online as well. And also because people can't travel, we have it every day until 30th of October. Our sale ends on the 1st of November. So please uh, join us on babyslingsandcarriers.com and babygatesandsafety.com. You can check out all the promotions we have, especially for you, this gratitude. So I am going to present to you Grovia cloth diapers. I was a cloth diapering mom. Uh, I've got three kids and uh, the youngest was the one that was cloth, cloth diapered the most. The first and second, I started cloth diapering, but not from birth. From the youngest, we, uh, we start cloth diapering from day one. I never thought I'll do that because of all the meconium, right? So, I mean, hey guys, if this is the first time you're watching us, please like and share. And if uh, if you know of somebody who's cloth diapering and uh, intend to cloth diaper a newborn or a slightly older child, they may be really uh, thankful if you share this information with them. Please like and share, okay? So without further ado, I'm going to share you, with you uh, why Grovia, okay? Grovia is a brand from the US. Of course, there are many cloth diapering brands today in the market. And why do we only stock Grovia at the moment? Because um, actually, if you look at the shell, they're all different. Some people go for prints only. I, uh, I'm i pretty practical practical. I go for uh, diapering systems that I can manage easily. And um, the pocket ones that I used to start off with didn't quite work for me because um, I get kind of icky when I have to change all the uh, pocket, the, the soakers. Soakers are what you, uh, it's something like this, okay? If you are new to cloth diapering and want to find out more, these are all the modern cloth diaper. These are something like soakers. So typically, it's meant for absorbency, which you put in the center, absorb the pee and so on and so forth. And uh, the pocket ones means that you have a slot that you slot it in. So typically, most people don't buy so many shells. Yeah? We are pretty cost conscious as well. Uh, well, different people, different takes, all right? Different cuts for different folks. So the soaker, you usually will put it in. So for... Uh, Grovia cloth diapering system, they used to start with uh, the pocket diapers as well, but later on they changed onto the snap-ons. That's the most popular, this which the uh, hybrid ones. Later I will show you, but I'll start with the smaller sizes for those tiny babies, okay? This is an all-in-one Grovia diaper. Okay, it's a newborn all-in-one. A newborn all-in-one. You can ask any questions you want, okay, during the live. And it would be best if you can ask on Facebook. Uh, if you're on Instagram and watching us for the first time, uh, we, we don't have somebody uh, replying you right away because all our admins are actually busy on the Facebook replying comments. But uh, if you have any questions on Instagram, you can actually uh, just... DM us, okay? We'll try to answer you as soon as possible after the feed. Okay, this is the all-in-one newborn cloth diapers from Grovia. So it comes in a single piece. We can't change the soakers. Inside uh, is made of um, microfiber fleece, okay? And also a mix, actually. And uh, why Grovia system? Okay, for the Grovia system, right, I am uh, I would say my, uh, my family actually... <laughs> so so troublesome, right? Because the skin of our uh, fingers, sometimes they get caught on certain cloth diapers. So for the Grover system, when we first tried it, we liked the quality because when you slide your hand across, you realize that the fingernails doesn't, it doesn't feel scratchy. So the outside of the cloth that they use, even though uh, if you look at the fabrics, the, the materials that they use, it it may be very similar for every every brand, but uh, the quality actually matters. It, you actually don't feel like it's scratchy. And of course, a lot of people uh, cloth diaper with Grovia because they like the prints. They have limited editions on and off. But for the all-in-ones, uh, they are very suitable for newborns. So for premies as well, uh, if you're first time cloth diapering, uh, the, uh, the small ones work very well because it's one piece and it doesn't have any soakers. So 
nothing very complex to deal with. So for most husbands, they are quite fine dealing with this, okay? And the smaller ones, okay, even for caregivers, I know some caregivers, they really don't like to uh, meddle with all the all the inserts. So all-in-one systems are very good. This is a Grovia newborn all-in-one. Why so small? Some people say, uh, can I, uh, you know, reuse for many times? This is good for maybe up to about six, seven kilograms. Why? Because it's a bit smaller around here and it's not uh, extendable. As you can see, we cannot resize it. This is the, let me show you how small they go, all right? This is how small they go. And I love it. Even though it's kind of like you can only use for maybe two, three months. I love it because it's so small. Look, so cute. And it doesn't leak. So for people who want the comprehensive type, uh, we will recommend the, the ones that are sizable. But you have to bear in mind that some people tell me, oh, sometimes I kind of like, you know, why are they leaking and so on and so forth. Could it be because it's too big? Because sometimes as the hole is too big for a newborn and also because your cloth diapers are new. This is true for any brands that you use, okay? For the Grovia sizing, they tend to be a little bit more... Anybody Hokkien here? Ah, use you. Ah, oh. So uh, the, the shape itself is uh, good for uh, Asian sizes, actually. Uh, and it actually helps to absorb very well. And sometimes uh, if you did not wash your, your cloth diapers, they soak us uh, enough times, the absorbency is still not quite there. So if you wash more times, it's true for all the uh, diapers I'm going to show you later, okay? So I won't be repeating this point. So this is the Grovia all-in-one newborn size, okay? The newborn size actually goes for... 2590 before discount. We're having a 10% off right now on all the Groovia diapers, okay? And uh, uh, then you say, okay, since you say this cloth diapering system are from Groovia, is so good, the all in one. And, you know, husband like to use it, uh, caregivers. I know of a lot of moms, they find that uh, when they place their child in a care with a caregiver, a lot of caregivers are not very willing to use the cloth diaper because they find that it's very, very troublesome. Uh, because having to, to take out the soakers and put it back again, they find yucky or, or they might not tell you the true reason, but they are a little bit hesitant. They like the disposables. So uh, what happens if the newborn outgrows it and you have to go to a caregiver or you're trying to get your puppy to use it when you're not around? Okay, get some of these all-in-ones uh, in a bigger size. So these are similar to the newborn all-in-ones. You can see everything is included, including the soaker. So it's a single use, meaning to say it get, if it gets wet, we normally do not change the soakers anymore. Soakers are what you see here. Okay, these are additional. I find it very good also for uh, going out because when I'm out and I'm full cloth diapering, I do not want to touch the soakers and I just take this whole thing, wrap it up nicely and put it in a plastic bag or a wet bag. I'll show you a wet bag. Now, if you are new to all of this and don't know what, what a wet bag is, or I don't know if we have any new parents here or soon to be parents here, I'll show you what a wet bag is later on. Bear with me a bit. So for the Grovia on ones, the interior is all made of 100% organic cotton. The exterior shell is a PU shell, but high quality, as I mentioned, you don't feel it scratchy. You see, I can slap. No problem, okay? And uh, it's actually resizable. Let me see here. It can go according to how wide your child's girth is. Can you see these buttons here? Okay. Uh, of course, the rise itself uh, is not adjustable. Unlike the all-in tools later, I will show you as well as the one diaper. There are many systems within the Grovia family as well. I'll show you one by one along the way. So how much does this go for? The all-in-ones are going for $39.50. Everything included, the uh, of course, the soakers. Okay, this additional, all right, but uh, it comes together, okay? You can unsnap it if you don't need so much soakers because for kids who are uh, beginning to, I don't know, body trained, you might find that you don't need so much soakers anyway because uh, it's only to catch the accidents that they have last minute. Okay, this $39.50 
for the uh the ones that fit maybe slightly bigger maybe about three four months onwards it will look a bit big yeah some will uh fit in maybe about six months onwards for until about one and a half years old okay so this is 39.50 before this come for one set okay from Provia. Then, next comes the most popular Grovia system, okay? This would be the hybrids, okay? What do I mean by hybrids? Remember just now I mentioned about Socus. Hey guys, if you have any questions about cloth diapering or about Grovia in specific, please feel free to ask because Baby Slings and Carries is the only uh, retailer of, or distributor of the uh, Grovia cloth diapers in Singapore, all right? So we are having a very special discount right now because it's our Gladitude sale. Otherwise, we we can't afford to give you the discount. Just put it that way, all right? So uh, the Grover system, the most popular one would be the All-in-Two. All-in-Two comes with a snap shell, okay, like this. Can you see, just now I explained, right, the cloth diapers, there's this, uh, the pocket ones, pocket ones, they slide in. So on top, there's still uh, the part that touches the baby's butt. So why I find it icky is because when I remove the soakers, the top it still touches my baby's skin. So I feel a little bit uncomfortable that I'm changing the so-called shell, but then I'm not changing the part that is already uh, a bit dirty and I still place it back on my child's skin. Yes, yeah, sure, the new soakers will absorb the the uh, P, the next P, and so on. But I find that uh, I, I didn't really want it to touch my uh, child's buttocks so much. So I I really prefer this kind of snap-on systems, okay? But experiment with a couple so, so you can find out which works better for you. I think it's very important, yeah? So this snap shell means that uh, this snap-on soakers, uh, soakers, <laughs> but anyway, this snap on soakers, you kind of just have two buttons that you snap on. See, when your child's um, diapers get dirty, soiled, okay, all you need to do is to unsnap this. This is the soaker and you change it, put it in the washing, put together with the next washing and then you wash it together. Okay, the soakers I'll explain to you later. They, we, uh, we have them in two different types a no prep and uh, organic cotton, okay? I'll go through that a, a little bit later. I want to focus on the uh, shell itself. The shell itself, again, the PU is high quality. I know a lot of people like this print, uh, sorry, not for sale. It's our sample piece. You know, Grovia shell sometimes gets snapped up and then people are willing to pay a bit more uh, because they are very, very pretty. You don't need pens after that, all right? So this uh, hybrid all in two shells, they come both in uh, hook and loop as well as snaps like this, okay? See, these are snaps and this are, maybe I can hold it up. Okay. So hook loop, which one is more suitable? It really depends on you, okay? But our experience is that uh, hook loop, it gives you a more precise fit. The snap shells, this is the snap, you can see the snaps, right? The snap ones uh, will mean that uh, it is, uh, you, you have to go according. So, so if you're in between size, you might find that it's a bit too loose or too tight. Doesn't matter, okay? Uh, so it's really up to you. This is much, much more precise. And later on, if you want to convert it into snaps, you might find it's possible. We actually used to do conversion. I'm not sure whether we still do it. Oh, we have a question. I can't see your question. Hafiza, hi. Okay, would the urine go all the way through the to the shell? Hi, uh, yes, I'll come to that in a little while, Hafiza. Bear with me for a little while. I'll tell you a little bit more about the soakers. Okay, the shell itself, like I mentioned, is both hook and loop and snap shells, but it doesn't mean that snap shells are not good, okay? The snap shells do last a bit longer, and also, uh, as in the snaps itself. And what happens is that for the uh, for the snaps, the older kids, when they know how to pull open, uh, some kids like to pull open. So some people prefer to have a snap shell. For me, I use a mix of both, and I find out uh, which one I prefer before I commit to more of the same one. Okay, so uh, the shells themselves, 
okay typically don't get wet hafiza i'm uh trying to answer your question now so i'm going to talk about how the sucrose absorb and then uh whether it can pass on to the shell so it's the same for both the snap as well as the hook loop system okay so if you can see there is this part which we put close to your baby's bottom and this is the part that snaps on to the shell itself okay you snap it on here this part actually is waterproof it's also pu okay so in other words when the p or uh, anything goes uh, the p actually goes onto the soaker it doesn't go through to here uh that's the modern cloth diapering system so it kind of uh catches it everything inside so it doesn't get wet that's why i can go full that cloth diapering even outside because uh, if it leaks through, I wouldn't be able to do it, okay? Remember last time, uh, people used to use cloth. Somebody told me loin cloth. <laughs> I don't know how true. It's basically a piece of muslin. You fold, it's a big piece of muslin. You fold and then uh, we kind of use safety pins. I'll also come to that later. Uh, you, you can use safety pins or you can use what we call snappies. Huh? We sell them also on our website. If I'm not wrong, it's already on our website, okay? something like this all right so we kind of instead of uh oh can you guys see it you cannot see uh maybe i will lower the can we lower the light lighting just lower yes okay so you can see these are snappies okay that you can use with your your cloth ones in co many colors lah, huh? uh, if you youtube it you can find how to use the snappies with your uh, cloth and pre-folds later i'll also talk about pre-folds so the hybrid system okay it's only 990 for a set of three yeah huh? it's on our website and in uh may or may not be on our website because we have different colors right so the soakers uh as i mentioned it's uh waterproof on the inside so the shell itself doesn't get wet also another advantage of using the grovia system because i find that with my child who kind of can communicate with me apart from cloth diapering i also do elimination communication so what that means is that my child communicates with me i can go to the toilet in time i don't use a lot of cloth diapers to be honest my child my youngest child was out of diapers by six months all right so uh but that's that gives us another problem i cannot find panty so small <laughs> but uh, anyway uh so the uh sh the soakers they we have both the um the organic cottons as well as the stay uh sorry no more stay dry only the organic cottons as well as the no prep no prep means you wash maybe two three times you are ready to use it because it absorbs very fast the no prep ones are microfiber okay and the organic cottons as uh as the name says is organic cotton okay 100 percent. personally i like the organic cotton but it take a little bit longer to try uh, the why do I like the organic cottons? They are actually uh, softer. It makes uh, the child, if they pee into the diapers, uh, it feels a bit wetter. So uh, it may actually prompt the child to want to be get out of diapers faster, one thing. And the other thing is that I noticed with washing a lot, last time we had stay dry, not the no prep, but similar for the top layer. Top layer means this part uh, that touches the baby's skin. The no prep might feel a bit drier, but the organic cottons, uh, they last longer. So if you're planning, if it's your first kit and you're planning to have many kids after that and you're going to reuse them, uh, I realized that the organic cottons actually last a bit longer and they don't smell as fast. Uh, less residual build up. So it makes a better cho uh, choice for me personally. Some people like no no prep because no prep actually means that you don't want to wash so many times before it starts absorbing. And it's a little bit softer and for the baby, the butt always feels a bit drier, okay? Uh, let me quickly show you, so organic and no prep social pads are like this. They come in a set of two. You can see, because we have cameras one on top of the other, okay? So come in a set of two. So they are, uh, I think twenty eight ninety or twenty nine ninety something like that. Before discount at the moment, at the moment, guys, we have ten percent off on the Grovia, including the packages. Later, I will tell you about the packages. Okay, what we have. Uh, I'm moving on to this is a uh, 
Provia all in two. Remember, if you are getting these, uh, it's an all in two system because it's a little bit confusing if it's the first time you're buying cloth diapers for the Provia systems. Okay, all in two. So confused and don't know how, don't know whether you want to choose between the snaps or the hook and look. I don't know if anybody's confused because last time I used to have this issue. Huh? Hook look or snaps? Huh? Which one should I buy? Huh? Then somebody tell me this is good and somebody tells me that it's good. Personal preference, like I say, uh, buy a couple of each, try it out, decide which one you like best and then get the one that you like best more. Okay, you will find out how many you need later on as you get used to your child's pattern of using and how you wash them, okay? Uh, if you're confused and you are not so sure which one you would like to use and uh, oh, you're just greedy. Sometimes I'm greedy too. Last time when I was cloth diapering, uh, they just came out with the, Rovia just came out with the one diaper towards the end of my cloth diapering journey. So I didn't have a, a chance to really use it, but uh, we've got very, very good feedback from parents who use it. This one diaper allows you to have the best of both worlds, okay? So this is the Velcro side, okay? It comes with both Velcro, Velcro, no, I should say hook look. It's trademark, I think. Okay. This is the hook look system. Oops. Hook look. And then can you see that there are snaps here? You can see, right? I'm sure I can see from the my screen, so I'm sure you can see it. So if you don't like the, uh, you don't want to use the uh, hook look system, any, system anymore, this is separate, see? The hook look is snapped on, okay? On the one shell. And if I undo it, everything is snaps. Can you see? See? It's all snaps. Okay. Ah, Lama, I forgot to mention one thing. The all-in-two uh, hybrid shells uh, can be resized. I'll show you with the one. It works exactly the same way, okay? You can resize it to very small, like this. It's got little buttons here, little snaps on the shelves. By the way, this is a limited edition print. I think we are going to have a special on it pretty soon as well. But now they are on 10% off, okay? Uh, you can snap it to make it smaller if the diaper shell is a bit too big for your child's size. It's very cost savings because a lot of people will be wondering like disposables, right? You XS, S, medium, large. You have to you find that you have to keep changing when the child size grow. You save a lot of money because you never outgrow these. You can resize it. Can you see how small the the shell goes if you need to resize it for your child? Okay, I'm gonna make it to as small as I can. I possibly can. Okay. Even with snapping on, can see? Very small. I'll compare it with the, of course, the newborn all in one is slightly smaller. Like, that's why I say if you have a small baby, a family, or you just like it because it's cute. I like the cute little butt look. Okay, so I use the newborn all in one. But uh, this one can snap quite small. It tends to be a bit uh, wider here, so there's a lot more absorbency because there's more cloth inside. So how does it look on the inside for the uh, Rovia one? Uh, gen sizing wise, it's slightly more generous than the all in two. Okay, it uses a different uh, a different soaker. Okay, so if you are buying the Rovia one system, please remember to go for the one soakers, not the uh, all in two soakers. Why? Because if you realize the hybrid system. The all in twos, the inside. Oh, did I forget to mention that for the all in twos, it's so easy to dry. There's uh, this webbing here, and it's very thin. Can you see? So it's sort of webbing here. Um, I hope you can see. I think some can. This camera cannot quite see, but it's webbing. Uh, so so it kind of makes it very. This is also uh. How to say? It's also waterproof, okay? So apart from the soaker being waterproof, even if it passes through, does pass through, or sometimes it's too heavy, 
you can be assured that actually it stays on here. Of course, you don't wait for it to leak. Lah. You still need to change. So the all and tool would have this uh, fabric on the inside for the shell. Okay. For the one diaper, you can see that it's actually fleece. It's different. Okay. So this is a bit softer for the Grovia 1 system. The shells are also a bit different. It's mainly microfiber. I think it's a mix if I'm not wrong, but it's very, very soft. You wish that this is a sponge that you use to, to wash your skin with your face. Really, it's really soft. You, uh, I can already imagine it touching the butts of babies. Huh? I haven't used the one system, but uh, we have got a lot of rave reviews. It tends to be very absorbent. You can see that the center part, the soaker is also very wide and it's very absorbent, okay? The, not to say that all in two are not absorbent. Actually, compared to most uh, systems, I, I, I do hear that it's a pretty good uh, absorbency as well. Make sure that if you are getting soakers for the first time, be sure to wash five to six times, especially for the organic cotton because, because you need the fibers to open up before it becomes really absorbent. So the one diapers uh, for most designs will be going for $39.90, including this soaker, okay? It comes already with this soaker. For the hybrid ones, it doesn't come with any soaker. So you please purchase the soaker separately. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Okay. okay. So having, having said about the soakers, there is another way you can cloth diaper with uh, Grovia. And that is the pre -fos. Okay, with the pre -fos. Just now I mentioned about muslin cloth. That's olden times. Okay. And these are not waterproof for sure. It's like cloth, okay? And uh, basically what this means is that I, I I don't know whether I have one to show you how a pre fold looks like. Okay, instead of the uh, muslin cloth, it's one piece flat. Huh? I, if you give me one minute, I will show you what is a pre fold. okay? It comes in different size, okay? Wait for... Sorry to keep you guys waiting. A pre fold looks like this, okay? With the center portion being the soaker part, and then you have a thin layer, uh, thinner layer at the side. So this one is the absorbency. This uh, makes it easier for some people to cloth diaper with the snappies. Just now I showed, uh, snappies are like this. So instead of using the safety pin, uh, you know, modern moms are uh, like me also very scared. When I pierce the thing, safety pin, I scared pierce my child's body. So you can use this modern one, snappies, to actually hold the cloth in place. The uh, YouTube videos are available if you search for snappies, how to use them. You can actually use a pre fold. The Grovia, why the Grovia pre folds? Because they're ultra soft. This is not Grovia, by the way. Okay, and I, I bought also the Grovia ones and uh, it worked very, very well. This one, I, I'm now, now that I'm not cloth diapering, uh, I can use it to clean, <laughs> clean whatever. Lah. It's very absorbent. Um, so all you need to do is to actually fold it and then the child goes something like this. The, it goes around the crotch and then kind of like you clip it on like this and then the leg comes out here but bear in mind that this uh do not have the waterproof layer so please 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 be sure to apply a waterproof layer if you are going outdoors it works very well for newborns and i also use it interchangeably with my uh, soakers that I that I'm using for the global system i put this on top if i need extra absorbency but things that uh people might not tell you is that while you can add, add more absorbency to your soakers, please be aware that uh, having more means that there's a lot more bulk around the baby's crotch or in between the legs. This is something that is very dear to me because a lot of people don't understand that. And when you bulk them up too much, it actually 
reinforces the leg apart. So, you know, baby slings and, and carriers, you talk a lot about ergonomics, right? When you're carrying a child, you talk about ergonomics. But when you're cloth diapering, I think it's also important for people to recognize the fact that if you place the child's uh, too, too wide and it's, there's too much uh, bulk around, when they start to crawl or walk, you might want to be a bit more mindful of how much bulk you add, okay? So it's not like, oh, uh, everything thick, thick is good. We have to see the child, how big they are, and then proportionately, we have to weigh the pros and cons, okay? These are the pre -folds. Very good as extra absorbency, or you can use it on the your own because they dry so much, so much faster, okay? Yes, and we talk about wet bags, right? Wet bags. What do you do if you have full cloth diapering? You go out uh, shopping and, okay, believe me, uh, some some people like uh, go shopping, okay. Lah. Have you ever tried with cloth diapering a child? Not just outdoors, when you're traveling. Okay, now I know nobody travels much anyway. But uh, when I traveled uh, to Australia with because my older kids were having competitions uh, uh, in Australia, so I had to bring my young my youngest daughter, and she was only six months old and still cloth diapering. But we never used any disposable clothes with her, really zero. Okay, so what did what we had to do was uh, we believe still in cloth diapering and she was quite manageable. So uh, can you imagine traveling, being outdoors uh, with the child, being on a plane as well, and we're still cloth diapering. It's not that difficult to do. After I've done it, I say it's doable really. But where do you keep all your soy diapers then? Is plastic bag a good option or wet bags? Wet bags are uh, something with a zip, you know. And the Grobia one is like a bit wide and it actually stands on tabletop quite well. So you slot all your soy diapers into the wet bag. I think it's a little bit more elegant solution than the plastic bags. Why? Because, believe me when I say this, uh, one of my friend's plastic bag broke. <laughs> and the soy diapers are like a stench in the bag. Oh no. Yeah, but uh, the uh, zippered wet bags work a lot better. Grovia has these zippered wet bags and um, while a lot of brands have it, uh, you might want to check out. If you check on our website, you can see how the zippered wet bags look like. They actually have a base that allows it to stand up. I, I think that works very well, much better for me than the flat ones. The Grovia wet bags are going for $17.90 uh, in various designs. I'm not sure what designs we have left at the moment, but it's seventeen ninety before discount, okay? Right now, we are having a Gladitude sale, 10% off for most items. Some are much higher uh, discounts, but uh, have a look at you, though, all right? Next, we come to the accessories for Globia. Some of our most popular Globia accessories are this, okay? The Magic Stick. The big one is the magic stick. Huh? Why is it magic? Huh? Anybody knows why is it ma magic or not? I wish I can give you a gift. Then maybe somebody will tell me. Oh, I know why it's magic. It's got magic dust. Michelle said that there's <laughs> magic inside. Okay. Why is it called magic stick? I'm sure they, they, it was a pun. Huh? Okay. I don't know why they came up with magic stick, but it is really magic for us a lot of us here. Why? Before I discovered this magic stick, I used to uh, put a lot of, uh, you know, the the, the uh, barrier cream, the diaper barrier cream for my older kids because as new parents, right, you don't know anything and then people say, oh, you get diaper rash, this is the barrier cream you should always put after changing. That's what they teach in antenatal classes anyway in the hospitals. You can uh, plaster your child but with a lot of uh, this uh, diaper uh, barrier cream. And it used to, it's like this whitish stuff. And when I wash the child's butt, it refused to go away. It's so sticky. My God, how do you even use it? I'm not sure any of you guys actually use that. Or if you are new, if you haven't had a child and not cloth diaper before, or even disposable, I was using disposables then, but I was told to use these. And it's so difficult to wash off every time I have to use um, uh, soap and water. And because I keep using soap, it, it's more drying actually. It, it doesn't do anything for my child. In fact, it causes more problem. And of course, a lot more work for the mom. Uh, that was... 
with the older two kids, I only discovered the magic stick maybe about seven seven years ago, six, seven years ago. Uh, yeah, when I started cloth diapering and uh, I was looking out and I, I found out about this. I just tried it. Nobody told me how good it was. But as a barrier cream, after, uh, it's all natural, by the way. The one that I used to use, I think everybody would have that. In most goodie bags, they give you one. <laughs> it's white and it's made of petrochemicals, actually. It's, it's to prevent the pee from getting on the child's skin and staying on there so uh, so that it helps prevent diaper rash. But this one works a lot better. It's uh, made of lavender. I think mostly plant-based extracts. And I find that uh, even when I have... It's, the smell is really heavenly and lovely. When I put it, apply for my child's skin, but talks, never had diaper rashes, actually, when I was using it. And I also tried it because such a big stigma. So what do you do? I don't use so much. I I, I only put uh very thinly. It washes off very well as well. If when I use a little bit of mouth soap and uh or or you don't even have to use mouth soap, it, it's not yucky. But when I have cuts, I actually try applying this because it says barrier barrier, right? It's not a cream, but it's barrier something, whatever. What do they call it? Diaper bum, okay. So when I apply it on my cuts and wounds, small ones, when you put under the water, normally small wounds sting a lot, okay? And when I apply it magically, or when your skin on, uh, you know, around your cuticles break uh, and tear, I put it on and it actually doesn't sting at all. So I, I really believe in this product. And uh, next is the Magic Stick Z. Z. Okay. So for those people with, broken skin e eczema, I think it's very gentle. So it prevents the water from touching it. It might help as well. And it's uh, using plant-based uh, extracts. The magic stick Z, then why is it Z? Z is for zinc, okay? Z, Z for zinc. Uh, so this magic stick Z uh, or Z is really for people, kids with already with diaper rashes. Very, very Fantastic product. I don't know why you guys are not grabbing it up yet because people who know grab it up. I still use it today until today. My child, youngest child is already almost seven years old. I'm still using it today. I definitely need this at home. Why? Because zinc is very good at uh, getting rid of diaper rashes. It helps the skin to heal. And as a result, for People with eczema, eczema spots appearing, we find that it actually helps the child or even adults to uh, heal naturally. I, I don't know how it works, but if you guys have heard of zinc, you will know how good it is. Okay, this is a magic stick zac. Believe me, works. Uh, after all, if you want to try, it's not very expensive to experiment. It definitely beats what you buy in stores you pay a lot it doesn't work at all and i hear from moms when i introduce them to the magic stick that they say it works much better than what uh the usually the doctors prescribe for them and uh and zinc zinc products are not so easy to find to be very honest uh and and hey the smell is actually quite pleasant it comes in a stick form like the magic stick so all you need to do is like it's like lipsticks okay mom's right all mom's right Maybe got that, I don't know. Nah. Dads don't use lipstick. Never mind. <laughs> okay, you know how a lipstick works, right? You just like kind of like uh, turn, twist it and then it comes out and then you you don't even have to use your hand. I have uh, moms who tell me they don't like to use hands to touch the buttocks area. So they use uh, this or this. It works very well. So, uh, well, if you want to, uh, we normally don't hold so many stocks because uh, these uh, have expiry dates. So grab them up as soon as you can. When we are out of stock, we can be out of stock for a long while because uh, US products coming in, especially for Grovia, is on an essential goods basis and uh, things are not coming in as smoothly as we would like to. Okay, so Magic Stick and Magic Stick Z. One is uh, Magic Stick is going for twenty four ninety before discount. The Magic Stick Z is going for twenty six ninety before discount. You get ten percent off until first of November with your other purchases, of course. Okay, the Grovia Mighty Bubbles. I think it's one of our uh, major favorites among moms who cloth diaper. You know, no matter how good you wash your cloth diapers, after a while, there will be some residue. If you use a good detergent, it means that it doesn't uh, build up so fast. But the 
the Grovia Mighty Bubbles, actually, you it comes in pots like these. Uh, it's to use to help you to strip the diapers. Okay, what is stripping? I think uh, if you're new to cloth diapering, you wouldn't know. I actually, nobody told me about it and I didn't know. And at some point, my child, because I, then I wasn't using a uh, good uh, laundry detergent either. It was just a normal, normal install kind of video post. You come help, help <laughs> the IG ones. Okay, yeah. I talk too much, uh, guys. I hope it's, it's still informational to you guys. So please like and share. Uh, we are trying to uh, get our... That's Michelle's hand. Not sorry, hand. sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Anyway, uh, while the other channels are still playing, you want to go over there? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so the Grovia Mighty Bubbles, they kind of pots. You can use it to... Uh, you can kind of use it to strip your diapers in one drum, okay? About 20 diapers, one drum, okay? And uh, I think 15 last. I can I, I also strip. Strip it because if you don't strip your diapers uh, and you have been using your cloth diapers for a long time, and especially if your laundry detergent leaves residue, uh, you may uh, find that they become more and more stinky. In the worst case scenario, in my daughter's case it caused ammonia burns all right that's when everything becomes red and i was like no cannot be you know is it diaper rash doesn't look like it but i found out it was uh that uh ammonia burns and uh believe me very very painful for the kid all right so you want to avoid that the grovia mighty bubbles would be good if your diapers start to stink after a couple of months i normally strip them one pot goes directly in don't open the pots guys just uh take Put the whole thing in is biodegradable with your cloth diapers and you can actually do a hot wash it actually strips the uh diapers quite well don't put detergent inside all right if it needs another time do it another round typically it will get rid of all the ammonia residues and so on uh very very popular with our cloth diaper mums if you haven't heard of it and your cloth diapering consider grabbing this it's also on 10 percent off and our next batch of mighty bubbles we are very low now the next batch of that mighty bubbles i'll be lucky if we can get it by end of the year so whatever we have left is whatever we have now so don't come begging i'm not gonna have any more for you because we checked with the us and it, it takes a long time before they are able to do this so uh they're still watching things on the ground so uh well growing mighty bubbles normal price is I don't know how much is it. I think it's less than twenty dollars for a pack of uh what ten pots. This book. Why do they say oh dissolvable pot packs? I thought it's disposable. I'm wondering why it's disposable, but it's dissolvable. How much is it now? Fifteen ninety is it? It's definitely below twenty guys. Ten percent off right now. Uh, Original price fifteen ninety. Fifteen ninety before discount, okay? All right, ten percent off at a moment. And if you ask me, mighty bubbles do I must I use it? Uh, you have to use it more often if your laundry laundry detergent doesn't uh wash off very well, and also depends on how you launder. Uh, for cloth diapers, this is general, okay, not just for Grovia, but uh, we recommend the dirty diapers from Rocking Green. We talk about the Rocking green cloth diapers already. Uh, the cloth diapers. Rocking green don't have cloth diapers. Huh? Only laundry detergent. Okay, They have a series of very good detergents. 100% biodegradable and plant-based. And uh, our a lot of our parents who use the dirty diapers for their cloth diapering needs, uh, they swear by it. We have other ranges as well. Please feel free to watch the old, uh, uh, not old, but the product showcases we have had in the last week. Uh, it's all on our website. If you go to our website, babyslingsandcarriers.com or babygatesandsafety.com, uh, uh, baby you can see banners about the Gladitude. So click on it. You can see the lineup we have, including the product showcase. If you click on the product showcase, the previous ones, you will be able to see previous uh, product showcases where we talk about rocking green and you'll see how many uh, different range of uh, the detergent we have. The detergent itself, actually for the Dirty Diaper Platinum Series, are uh, read here. Laundry detergent with cloth diaper 
safe enzymes is plant-based, firstly. Between you and me, I love these words, these things don't stand a chance and it, I really mean it. Uh, these are specially formulated at, to target uh, body waste. So uh, poop and pee, very, very good. Okay, if you like those uh, to wash normal clothes, we have the classic range. And then also the platinum series active where everybody's snapping it up because right now we're having a sale and the bundle deals means that you get extra discount on top of that and it's more than 20% off for most bundles. So grab them now before they run out. I'm really very low on the uh, rocking green. So please uh, grab them before 1st of November, okay? So uh, I before I end off, before I end off, you might, you might like to know, okay, in case you want uh, swim diapers, I'm not going to talk so much about swim diapers, okay? Just check it out on the website. Whatever we, we have left, I mean, it's just standard. Just go by the size, all right? Uh, but uh, in case you don't already already know, we actually have uh, the Grovia bundles as well. Why I'm telling you this, because I'm sharing the good news with you, that uh, you can get extra discounts. Bundles already have discount. And now, because of the 10% on uh, a blanket discount for most of our items, the bundle deals actually get extra discount. So we have for the Grovia, most of our system, okay, I know some are out of stock, so we are a bit low, so not everything has bundles anymore. But if you are interested to grab more, uh, you might want to take a look at the Grovia bundles. Uh, they come in 3 change, 6 change, and 12 change packs. Uh, they are all, not, all on special for normal days for the bundles. And during the sale itself, you actually get extra 10% off until 1st of November. So great time to stock up, guys. If you're having a baby or you're planning to use cloth diapers very soon, I urge you to grab them now. Grovia, we are not allowed by Grovia to hold constant discounts, so you will not see all these discounts happening often. Same for the Rocking Green range. So with that, I'm going to end my presentation for Grovia. Next up, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and if you have any questions, I know not many people are watching our live now, but uh, if you watch it later and you have questions we're going to have it on youtube uh but uh if you have any questions please please feel free to comment uh or, or send us a pm or a dm to ask more about the products that we have just showcased next uh we will have up uh night lights and i am going to invite some special folks tiny folks i'm not sure whether you guys high. can see Hi, New Bella. Thank you for joining us again. Are you having lunch right now? I hope you are having fun. Uh, okay, may I present to you our next uh, presenter, Kilia. And we are going to have Fiona and Kira talk about night lights uh, after after Kilia is done with projector light. And uh, what are you going to do, Kilia? Let me know what you're going to do. Give us a, 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 a while oh, or we adjust our lighting and our stand. All right. Adjust the lighting. Da -da. For Kilias. Hi. Ah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. No, my socks. Ah. <laughs> okay. Would you like to introduce yourself? Oh, she said she introduced herself, but I uh, kind of like, but in and said something. Hi, everyone. I'm Kilia. I'm going to show you how to use the projector. Ah, sorry? Ah, she guessed she's going to show you the projector lights and the magic starlight from real uh kids really love uh lights and uh even with kids so big how old are you how old are you here you're six years old yeah you're six years old coming to seven wow you're a big girl now and do you like lights yeah. why do you like lights 
she doesn't know but she loves likes anyway she's six and i think a lot of kids are fascinated with like she's going to talk to you about the projector lights and the magic star lights there maybe you can show uh, everyone it's up to you this is mine this is mine and it's not for sale. It's not for sale. It is for sale, just not hers, okay? Okay, here's the thing. Okay, here's the thing. Can you go higher? Uh, do you, can we like switch off the... Oh, switch off the... Make the light switch off. <laughs> ah, look at this. I think the other people can't see. Yeah. So this is uh, a magic starlight from Rhea. Okay, it's a favorite. We've got sound controls here. Alright. So you can make it softer or louder. And it has different sounds. Okay, can you stand back a bit so people can see? Can you hear? I can. You, you want to ask if you guys can hear? Oh, she wants to wave to everyone here. Thank you for joining us again. Okay, it's got a uh, light that projects all the way to the ceiling. When it's dark, you can see it up on the ceiling. Kids find it fascinating because the lights change color and they've got stars. For younger babies as well as older kids. So it's got different sounds as well. I think there's 11 different music. And uh, what's more, there's a volume control. And we also have white noise in the rear magic starlight, okay? And now, to make the sound off, this button, you can see it's very tiny. They say sound on, off. It has the line in the middle. Like off. And uh, what's interesting is that uh, for the real magic starlight, it also has white noise like heartbeat that you can change. And then uh, it has timer, 15 minutes, 30 minutes or 45 minutes. It uses AA size battery. Uh, very smart design. It Apart from that, you can actually plug in your MP3 and it works as well. MP3 or MP4, I don't know. I'm, I'm not very good at all these things. On top of that, the magic starlight uh, also has a clock and alarm clock as well as a uh, thermometer it's also a thermometer okay and guess how much is this very cheap for me how much is the magic starlight it's 79.90 right i think the magic starlight goes only for 79.90 normal price okay most times you don't get a steal like this yeah i mean you go anywhere you find any other brands Big ones, if projects only likes it, it will cost you $69.90 or $79.90. This has everything in music, MP3, you can plug in, volume control. Uh, also, you're able to uh, set the timer, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or 45 minutes. And you can select even white noise. It's a long time that you can use alarm clock. Everything, all the features in at only $79.90 normal price. Right now, until uh, end of gratitude sale, 1st of November, you can get it on our website at 10% off. Is it 10% off? I would definitely get this. Actually, I already got two. <laughs> all right. So that's the Rear Magic Starlight. Rear is a brand from Germany, okay? Okay, the Oh, this is a new product in store. I got it not very long ago. That's fantastic. Do you want to walk back a bit? I think people can't see you. Yeah, you better forget that it's too tiny. Okay. Ooh, that's better. Okay, anyway, can you zoom in? Zoom in? Zoom in. I can't. I can't zoom in. You have to zoom in yourself. Yeah. 
is okay. On first. On, on, Mr. Nice. See here? Uh, black color thing that I can put up. And you see here, there's many different stuff inside. So you can. Sh it says. Did you say here? Oh. Can you see, guys? It's a projector light. How many uh, pictures does it have? Okay. It has many, many. Three yeah. Ds, right? Do you have three Ds? Each one has three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight, eight uh, pictures per Ds. I think there are More. Eight, three, yes. three Ds in all. You see here, now I'll show you the second one. You see this thing here? Like one out. You are show me. You are oh, show yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see, guys? If you go further, of course, you can see bigger. Lah. Oh, but. Uh, I go further. Can you see? And then you it's see. It's not clear now because it's a big. And look, now. you see this thing over and over again. You can do it over and over again. So then you see, I'm not holding the thing. Then the kids it somehow yeah, they like to click and uh, they can actually, this can actually help with the not, house. you can press this button here. You want to change the, change so that people can see it. Change it to another. Okay, but it also has some. What do you think? What do you think? Also has sound. Yeah, it has sound. What do you think? What do you think to show the people the, the picture change? No, you use the same one. Oh, you should pick which button. You press which button. This. Okay, you this, show. This I say. Okay. Would you like to show different pictures? So you click two, three times so that people know it can be changed. Okay, you see a moon. You see? Ooh. It changes. Wow, oh, she goes very fast. So it helps to uh, build a child's creativity. They can actually tell stories or you can be the one building your own creativity by telling the kids stories. I think they love it. Uh, actually, they, they, they don't like me to tell stories. They just want to do it themselves. Okay? Uh, I, I mean herself. Yeah, she, she, she wants herself to tell the story. So I stay off her projector lights. And uh, it has music, right, Kilia? Yeah. Did you just say that it has music? Yes, I did. Next key. Yeah. It's a third disc. Okay. Can you I know see? it's not very bright. I hope you guys can see it. Okay. Uh, now because it's too bright in the showroom, if it's in a dark room, you can see very well. Okay. And the best part is you can leave them with the lights and the music. And they tell their own stories and fall asleep. Best part. Good for any parents. Right? Uh, do you know how much it goes for, Kilio? No. Oh, she doesn't know how much it goes for. Which brand is it from? Uh, Real. It's a rear projector light. It's a new product. It comes in two colors, white and I mean the shell. White and petrol, and it goes for only uh, 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 79 dollars It's 79 dollars 10% Okay, 79 dollars It's called a green beam, yeah, guys. It's here, called a green beam. It goes it's for the blue one, and here is the white one, which I choose. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they both have the same. Pictures. Pictures. Can you see? These are the ones I just did very fast just now. I think you gotta go higher. You still need to go a bit. Yeah, maybe stand back a bit and then you can see a bit better. Yes, there. Yes. Yeah, we can see very clear. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Chilia. Would you like to thank the audience for their time? Um. Um, it's called Dream Beam, yeah? It's seventy nine ninety before discount 10% off until 1st of November gratitude sale, okay? 
next up uh would you like to say thank you everyone for watching me i'm going to invite kiona and kira on the show to show, share with us a little bit more about other night lights that we have okay well let's welcome uh kiona and kira on the screen would you like to stay here as well yeah maybe a one more okay <laughs> Ki uh kiona and kira Kira. First time appearance. Kira. <laughs> um, but again, so today we'll be showcasing with um some night lights that we have in our showroom. Okay, our night lights in our showroom, we actually have a very, very big variety of um night lights. Light lights. So yes. it's pretty hard to miss, but however we'll go through each one today so that you can have a look of the range that we have here. So this one is the my baby light. Uh, it has a very very warm glow, and this part here is actually it uses the screw for the cover, so it will be extra safe for for the child. And also this material is shatterproof, so extra safe. Uh, the button setting is over here. <laughs> Can you so see? it's a very simple light. We'll show you with the other design. So there are two designs in total. We'll show you this one. So there's a moon one and there is an owl one. I'm not too sure if you can see it very clearly because with the light on, it's a little bit... Yeah. Okay, so you can see that it's actually pretty bright. So this one you can actually just um, leave your child with because it's very simple to switch on. Just one button and switch off is also the same button here. Yeah, yeah. so there's this very cute moon moon design and the owl the owl mm -hmm. design yeah. so this one how much is it okay it's 12. original price 1390 okay so the original price is 3090 and it's 10 percent off so this will use two double a batteries yeah okay so we'll move on to the next one okay so Next one will be, again, another simple light to have. So this one, I really like it because it has a warm light. So unlike the others, actually, it's uh, uh, like a whiter kind of light. But if you like the warm light kind of stuff, it's actually very, very gentle, like, especially if you leave it around the room. And it's nice, like, you know, if your child wants something to, you know, accompany them, especially when they're sleeping, you know, that sometimes children are a bit scared of the dark. And then you put the light there so that, they can learn to sleep on their own. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this one again is a soft click for the button up here. Yeah. So easily switched on and switched off. Yeah. So. Okay. This one is the night guide. Night guide. Okay. This one is the night guide. It's actually um. This is a sensor light. So there is actually this bracket at the back. You can attach this to the wall using screws. And then also you can just leave it standing alone like this. And it uses triple A batteries. And um, this, as long as you, there's any motion, it will switch on. And then if there's no uh, motion detected within the next um, 30 seconds, about 30 seconds, then after that it will switch off. So, there's actually sensors in the setting here, so you can uh, change the setting whether you want it to be switched on as a sensor light or like auto. Yeah. Okay. Surprise! Yeah. And we have something a little bit different compared to the first few that we've shown. So this one is actually you can plug into the sockets, like if you can see in the photo here. So these both are sensor lights. So this one is a white light and this one is a warm light. So especially if you have, um, it's at night and, you know, both for adults and for kids, it's actually very useful, even if you have like elderly at home and all that, because if you plug it in, you just, um, 
it works at night. So if you are if you just walk past it, the light will switch on so that you won't like you know trip or anything. So this one is very good to have because it's very safe for you. Um, so it's a bit blocked by that. Yeah. Okay. So these two, how much is it? Uh, okay. If I'm not wrong, it should be ten percent. Uh, white one. Just the the sensor with the just the white light is thirteen oh, ninety. The one with the on and off switch is twelve ninety. Mm -hmm. yes. For this one, I think we have okay. three different types. Right? Um, this one, this one, this one, one is no, the warm one. Uh, one is the sensor one just switch on. Okay. Okay. So there's three different sensor basically. There is this mm -hmm. one, the warm light one, that the one she showed. So this one, uh, is a sensor light. There is this two also. So these you will plug into the socket, and uh, this one is a sensor. One is a sensor light, and the other one is a switch. Is yes. One is switch. One is a switch light. Yeah. So it's it's supposed to be switched on like that. Yeah, so it's a, a yeah. You just plug on the manual button. one. Yeah, manual. Uh, this will be white light. And actually, a uh, fun fact is that this this switches right. They actually use eighty percent less battery um energy than the conventional light bulbs outside so now we have the two in one sleep lights so we have three colors in total four huh four three, oh, three. Um, brown? Brown is one. Oh, there are four. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. okay, so there's so four, four different colors, colors in total. So uh, these ones you can plug into a um, socket, which will also enable the charging that is already built into the light. And also you can use it as a standalone. It comes with the silicon uh, that you can put it inside and just use it as a travel light. So um, on by its own, when it's not charging, it can last up to 70 hours. Yeah, and then after that, you can just plug it to a socket to use to charge also. These all have warm light, and there are different settings for the light. I think there are two. two yeah, so yeah, there's two brightness settings for the lights. So there will be a both warm glow, but there will be a brighter one and something that's a little more toned down. So then the colors, like um, you said, is the brown, the gray, the pink, and the blue colored light. So they will all be 10% off on our website. So you can just go to Baby Gates and Safety, and then you'll be able to see all the lights there. So this one is a uh, my lovely monster. <laughs> right. Same thing. This uh the bat for rear right the light the light um the cover for the battery is all has screws so it'll be extra safe for children. Um, this one is only I think like fifteen cm so it's very very good for small hands if they want to bring around in the dark when they want to go to the toilet. Or, or traveling even traveling even that these are really really good so like just now the ones we mentioned before the two-in-one is actually good for traveling as well because you know on the go they can still charge it using the sockets that they have and also for this one it's um this one is not chargeable for the small ones so that um i guess if you're worried about the for about plugs and all that and wires then you can actually just pass this to them because this one is just really good for bringing around so this yep. one will have the battery. The bigger one, this will have a charging port. So uh, it comes with the... Yeah, so it really has the charging port on the inside, if you can see on this photo. So it's very easy to charge. Just put it on top and then you plug it in the main plug. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's also a emergency light function. So if there is, it will automatically switch on if there is a light failure. So that one's actually a pretty cool function that they have. Yeah. And there are two brightness levels for this one. Yeah. So this it's one is a simpler one. one. Yeah. Light option. Correct. 
So this one was the My Lovely Monster, and the bigger one and the smaller one, the prices are... The big one is sixty nine ninety, and then the small one is twenty four ninety. Okay, so sixty nine ninety and twenty four ninety before discount, and that will be ten percent off. Yes. Okay, next up we have this really, really pretty light. So this is the color Louis. Okay, this comes in two designs. There is the owl design and also the um, moon, design. moon design. I'll switch off the light so you can see the, like, the color. Okay, so there is the button settings here. You can switch it on. They, it will tr uh, transition through seven colors. Yeah, so this is one of our newer designs. I What I personally really like about it is that it has a really smooth transition. So it has this like very mesmerizing kind of effect. I would say that if you are, you know, hoping that your child would sleep quickly, I think this one would be really good, right? So it's very good because it has um, different settings. I think there's also one that you can stop the light and pause it on one color. So if like, I like this color, I can just pause it. Like, you know, this is the white light. There's a white light function. And then here, if you use the color and you just like the color, you can just freeze it. Yeah, so this one will be really good if you just want it to be one solid color and that's really good also. There's also a brightness, uh, brightness setting. setting. Yeah, so this one goes a little bit dimmer. So if you don't want it to be so bright and like in your face, this one is really good too. Yeah, <laughs> you can buy it as an adult as well if you just want to put it in your nightstand because it's really mesmerizing to look at. <laughs> yeah, I think even like adults will really enjoy this also. This one is just not not just for kids. Like even even like our colleagues over here really like this light that we have. So that was the color Lumi, and it comes in two different designs. Once again, it's the moon one and then the owl one. So this one will be thirty three ninety before discount. So this one is oh should I switch on the light? Maybe we should. So <laughs> this is the Starlino. It's a very very simple um projection pro star projection light. <laughs> uh, you probably can't see because there's nothing I can show you on by my hand. <laughs> So you can see that it actually like has all the stars over there. So it's um again another one that is really good. Like even if you're like I think this one's a simple light. So you, even if you're on a budget, this one is actually really really good to get. Right. So now we're having a discount. So even more so that you can actually get one on our website. So this one is a very very simple light. Um, a lot of light transition. color transitions. Yeah. So here, there is a dim function. So you can make this more dim if you like. Um, you can lock the color, just like the um, magic starlight and the what, color loom. Color loom. Uh, yeah, and there's also a white light function. Like this. Yeah, so that's just a simple white light. So these ones are all really good to get. So even if it's not for yourself, if you're looking for a gift because, you know, Christmas is coming up soon, so if you're looking for a gift, like, you know, for your family or friends, this one is actually really, really good to get. So if instead of, like, buying some um, something that you're not sure whether they'll use it, this one's actually really good because I think that most most families actually have this kind, where, especially when they have a kid around the house. Yeah, because it's very good to accompany the child to sleep. So if you're looking for a good gift, these are really good to get. So um, this one would be say that maybe a simpler version of the like the one that Kia showed the um, magic star earlier. Light. Yeah. So this is a simpler version. Yeah. So this one is twenty five ninety before discount. Like I Only said, really twenty five ninety. Yeah. And now so it's that 10 yeah. so that's actually a really really good deal. So definitely get yours while you still can. Yeah. Okay. So I think. Okay, so we I think we've done all the lights for today. Okay, let's just double check. Yeah. So we just have to double check because I, I missed things also. <laughs>
I wish I told you about the glory of the cloud white. Cloud white is already about 25 different light lights. We have about 25 different kinds of light lights. We have like 25 different kinds of night lights. So if you're looking for a good range to choose from, I would say just go to our website and then you can see, you know, everything that's there. Yeah, yeah. Really, really, really sophisticated looking lights. They're like the uh, yeah, dream the simple and the uh, plug-in lights. We have a lot of lights. So you can check out our website. And right now, until the sale ends, there will be 10% off all the products. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think that's all for us now. Um, I'll pass on... We will room. pass on the next section to uh, Michelle um, and Shalini for <laughs> sleeping safety. Yes. Thank you. Hello guys, we have reached almost towards the end of the product live showcase. So our last segment will be... Um, where is my teammate? <laughs> this will be sleeping safety. So we'll start with the first item, which is... Uh, Hi, guys. Uh -huh. Sorry. Which is the blanket holder. Just put it a little brighter. There we go. This is the blanket holder. All right. Um, if you are aware of this abbreviation that you have in the parenting world, it SIDS, S-I-D-S, which is sudden infant death syndrome and often it's also caused because there's a lot of obstructions inside the, the cot or the bed that you're sleeping that's in question um so uh, some good ways to prevent that is to not have any uh, bulky pillows or uh, any soft toys or, or blankets that may uh, smother your child basically so one more thing that you could add on are these uh cute little uh, blanket holders which are um specifically made for baby cots and baby beds you can see there's little um the baby cot bars here. So what happens is you just clip on this little hook onto the blanket itself and fasten it to the to the what do you call it the pole or uh, the bar of the baby cot to make sure the blanket stays in place so that you don't have any um, suffocation hazards or anything. So this is what we call <clears throat> sleep safety basically. Uh, this is also all, a majority of our safety items are from rear. So German quality, German quality is really of very high quality because their safety measures and their inspections are a lot, uh, a, a lot of a lot of a lot higher level than we usually do in Asian countries. So you can trust that their quality is really up there. Okay, so this prevents the blanket from slipping and ensures your baby remains uh, covered but yet not smothered at the same time. And it's suitable for all current models of the cots. And it um it cannot be opened by children because it's a, a pretty uh, sturdy clip. So it requires quite a lot of finger force to actually open it up. So there are actually four clips inside. They're white in color. Uh, current price seven ninety, and they're going for ten percent off right now. All right. So blanket holders, guys. Okay. Hi guys. Okay. So for uh, now, okay, as Michelle has already discussed earlier, for baby cots, um, which is the blanket holder for toddlers or those kids transitioning from cot to toddler beds or kid size beds. Okay, we do have something that you can actually put onto the side of the beds to prevent them from rolling over the bedside. Okay, so this one is the uh, it's a bed guard card. Okay. It's a bed guard. Okay, so it, this is extendable and adjustable in width as well as in height. Yes, correct. Ex uh, extendable width is from 80 all the way to 140 mm -hmm. cm. You know, uh, kids' beds, uh, junior kid beds, yeah. they go up to about 120 cm. Some slightly longer, that's why the, 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 the length can be adjusted to about 140 cm, but minimally 80 cm. So that's enough to cover all general uh, children's beds. Right. Uh, you were right, yes, the height can be adjusted as well. The minimum height for this barrier is 31 cm, and with the adapter is 41 cm. Okay, yeah. so how do we install it? Um, usually, if your bed, uh, let me show you the photo of the bed. Okay, here we go. So if you see this, norm, most kid or toddler size bed the mattress are actually inserted inside the bed frame. Okay, not the divan type one. Okay, so what you can actually do, how to install it is there will be an L bracket below. So you actually either you can opt to just slip it in if it's long enough to, you know, to cover that width of the, sorry, not, is it width? The depth? No, okay. Uh, 
the legs of these uh, bed guards, they're actually slightly uh, wider than the usual market bed, guide, bed guards you can get mm -hmm. out there, uh, like on uh, whatever platform, mm -hmm. basically. So they're slightly wider, so it gives them a little more grip. So what is important here is that your mattress has to be between an 8 and 25 cm of thickness to have that enough of weight and uh, also not too thick, of course, because then the, the bed guard cannot go it's over the height, height of the mattress. Piece. So between any uh, mattress anywhere between 8 to 25 cm will be strong and heavy enough to be held between the platform, the platform, the bed or whatever frame you have for the bed and the mattress. So basically, if my colleague can show you the picture, where's the it's picture? Uh, here is bigger, slightly bigger, <laughs> slightly bigger. OK, so I'm not sure where you can see <gasps> it. So, yeah. OK, so if you see here, this is the bed frame, obviously, the wooden stuff. And then there's a mattress, which is the blue color part. And then the bars, the legs. It's like that, right? The guard and then there's legs and it will slide in between the bed frame and the mattress itself and then it gets held down and it's really strong. Okay, um, that is for those who actually don't want to screw it onto the bed uh, base, right? But there is an option for you to screw it to make it sturdier, right? So some... Uh, okay, so please... Um, okay, as Michelle already explained earlier on, so the height is extendable, width is ex extendable, all right? So this is actually uh, onto the bed frame, if you can see, all right? It will, there will be a few brackets there that you actually can screw it onto the bed base, right? So this is how it actually looks um, if, let's say, you actually want to install it properly and correctly, right? Okay, right, so this so, is the metal version. Uh, not only used for kids, but we often get orders in, uh, we can use it for elderly, elderly as well. It's that strong because if you screw it in, it, the elderly can actually use this bed guard. And not it only can hold the weight. Yeah, will be not drop out of the bed, but they can actually safely uh, dismount or mount onto the bed with the help of this bed guard. And yeah. since this is acceptable in width, you can actually um, position it in the position where, uh, in the place where in uh, most elderly are comfortable to actually. Uh, I think want to sit down or want to lay on or let's say even if they just want to um, raise themselves from. So you can actually put it here to the headboard in the middle. It's up to you on how you want it installed. Basically, in general, most of the bed guards or the bed rails, in other, uh, you can use the word bed rail as well, they install pretty similarly. This is a, a little different version because just now what you saw was a, a steel version, uh, aluminium, is it aluminium? Mm -hmm. Aluminium version. So this one is like a, you can see there's like a mesh, like a netting. So it's softer and also the sides are slightly padded. So if you think these are slightly friendlier for your kids, you can get these instead. Um, we have researched uh, the bed rail and bed guard market. This is the tallest you can get uh, right now. Uh, it's 50 cm as you can see from here. 50 cm and it's 100 cm in length. I think we have a longer one as well, right? 100 and something. Okay, but, I'm sorry? 100, but not sold out yet, right? Uh, sold out. Oh, it's sold out. <laughs> sorry, guys. The longer one, the longer version we used to have and we might get it back in, used to be 150 times 50 cm. 50 cm is the height, uh, just to highlight again. So, but the 150 cm is sold out. But usually this is pretty adequate for uh, a normal child bed as well. Um, you know, for our restless starfish sleepers that spread all over the bed. And another thing is that this is very easy to install, uh, pretty similar to what we explained with the bed guard early on. We'll show you a sample shortly. And then also another thing is that this is very easy to transport because if I zoom out, look, it's just, it's just slightly wider than my shoulders and this is folded up. So it's really compact. So if, let's say, your child has a sleepover at the grandparents' place or you're going somewhere else for a staycation or something, this is actually perfect to bring along. Uh, just You can just lay it over your shoulder. It comes with a bed. Is it this one or the other one? I think it's uh, the other one. Sorry. Later on, we'll introduce you another model. So my colleague is going to show you what it looks like. So what Michelle has showed you is actually this one, right? Okay, this is the small I think this is the smaller one, right? But this is 50 cm in height. Okay, so actually how you install the whole thing, okay, usually it will be folded down, right? You can see. So you just need to 
Yes. Turn it up, okay? And this part actually locks the thing in. So it doesn't, I can't even press it down already. So once it's locked in, okay? And if let's say you want to actually pull it down, you just need to release this part, right? And it closes down, right? Okay, so this one, if let's say you wanted to put it on, this will be underneath the mattress. The mattress. Seems so see true. Right? Okay. And the good thing about this one, it comes with this one. All right. There is a belt with this one. <laughs> yes. The buckle. Yeah. All right. It comes with a belt that actually looks through the entire bed. Yes. Right? So it is an ad additional safety feature that um, helps this uh, basically become a bit more sturdier for kids, especially when they're trying to stand up on the bed. You know? Okay. So in general, all the bed rails and the bed guards we have, they are suitable from about 18 months onwards. So sometimes, uh, usually when parents try to ease kids into their own bedrooms or at least their own beds and up to about five years old. But by the time they're five years old, you don't actually really need a bed guard or rail unless <laughs> you sleep like. Okay, okay one sleep. last one, yeah. Sleep in okay. This one is the one that comes with the bag. Yes, okay, look at how small it is, look. Look, it's just like it's as long as my upper body, which is not very long. Okay, this is called the Sleep and Keep XL. Why XL? Because this indeed is, if I turn it around, is 150 cm. Sorry, and the height is also 50 cm. I cannot coordinate. Everything is a mirror image. <laughs> so it's 150 cm long and a 50 cm tall. So this is this is also about the size of what uh, Charlene showed you earlier on. Installation again. Very similar, there's nothing much to it. Yeah. And But this one comes with a little nifty little bag which you can store the bed reel in. So again, also bring it quite, around. Yeah, quite perfect for staycations or, you know, hopping over to grandparents' place or, you, you know, if you don't, you have a temporary stay elsewhere and besides your own house, pack it, sleep and keep. That's why it's called sleep and keep and pack it into the bag and just bring it along. All right, also mesh mesh covering and slightly covered padded areas. Not really padded, but like covered bar so it's slightly softer than the the aluminium version okay it's extra big sleep and keep XL you can see the age is here 18 months to about five, five years old um, that's it I think yes oh we forgot to say the price Ooh. the one at the sleep and keep is 69 69 okay sleep and keep is 69 before this sales okay, <laughs> <laughs> if you want to do weightlifting uh, this is quite good <laughs> $69.90 before 10%. Yes, yes. And then this one? This one is $99.90 before 10%. And then this one is the bed guard. Usually $84.90. 84, uh, 84 uh, the bed guard is eight, the, the stainless, uh, stainless. The aluminium metal one, this one is $84.90 before 10%. Okay, because obviously it's made of aluminium, so it's slightly more expensive. But it's not as heavy as you all think. It's lightweight. It's aluminium, so it's light. It's like about. One kilo plus? Yeah, one kilo plus. Alright, okay. so... <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Let me see, I think then... The yeah, I think we've covered uh, pretty much all of it today. So just to break it down to you, we had the Boba X uh, earlier in the morning with Johnny, and then we will be a clock diapering and yes. accessories. And then Kelia was kind enough to show her favorite projector lights to us, uh, followed by Kiruna and Kira, which uh, they presented to you our various selections of night lights. We have how many again? 25. We have 25 nightlights. different night lights. So if you're interested, okay. go to babygatesletternsafety.com. And then lastly, we covered our bed reels, bed guards, and blanket holders for sleep safety. Okay? So. Remember, our sale is only up to 1st of November and everything is on 10% off minimally and up to 70% for some selected yes. items. And some even right. like $100 off. So please, yeah. if you want to go to our website, babyslinkandcarries.com or babykatesandsafety.com. If not, you're always welcome to pop by our showroom in the afternoon to take a look at our items. And uh, tomorrow we're off. So we're so not seeing we'll you tomorrow. We'll be back on Thursday. Yes, yeah, so we'll be back on Thursday. So see you then. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.